Okay, hello sumo friends, um, and uh, whoever else wants to watch. <laughs> what I'm going to do here is make um, basically stone out of this silhouette. Um, those of you that know me from sumo know I, I kind of enjoyed drawing stick figures and stick chickens and things to make um, kind of stone caveman art, but I'll spare you the process of me doing my terrible drawing, and I'm just using the silhouette of an elephant here uh, on its own separate layer, as you can see over here. White background, whatever color background you want, really. But all we have to do first is we start with our, our um, paint tool. And we're going to turn our opacity down to about 50%. Flow, keep it 33. Diameter, let's sort of get kind of big for now. And we're going to start with eh, the brush that they give us is fine. And we'll start with white. And all we're going to do is kind of, well, hopefully uh, we're doing the wrong layer. So let's go back. One, two, three, four. Um, do the right layer here. And we're just going to kind of dot. Oh, okay. Well, let me do it the right way. <laughs> so first we start by right clicking and select pixels. Now we start dotting up our elephant a little bit, except it would help if we used white. There we go. And then just kind of, what we're trying to do is sort of achieve a granite look, so first we'll start dotting them up like that. And sort of mix in some colors. We'll stick some red in there. We'll change to a different brush and shrink it just a bit. It's just kind of a matter of sort of creating what you think looks like granite. We didn't switch to red though, so switch. Sometimes these mistakes are happy mistakes. In fact, what I find mostly is just about everything that comes out good is a happy accident. And let's use a brown here. That's good. Let's see with the brown, we're gonna kind of uh, scratch it up a bit. And I kinda like to just sort of mark them up a little bit, sort of like the slate would be. Okay, and since we've selected the pixels, anything we paint will just stay on the actual elephant there, so we're pretty safe with whatever we do. And of course, granite to me always seems to have some green in it, so we're going to dot in some green there. Let's see, we're kind of making a real colorful, uh, <laughs> colorful granite here. And if you go, well, this is too much, then just take um, good adjustments, hue and saturation. Colorize, turn them all to one color, and then we can start adding more colors from there. So we'll go back to adding green. And believe me, you don't have to do that. You can stick with a more colorful granite, whatever, you're, whatever floats your boat. I tend to like to mix, um, but for showing purposes, we're just going to do this. I'm stick some more red in there. And then one thing that's kind of nice, because granite does seem to have sort of some veins in it sometimes, like marble. Shrink our blood brush a little bit more. Just kind of stick something that looks a little bit like a vein. And go over the top of it. Let's switch back to black. Maybe bump our brush size a bit. You can see it's starting to kind of starting to look like stone a bit. Okay, and I think that looks good. Now for the magic, all we have to do now is go filters, stylize, and boss. And look there, we have some granite look. And then what I like to do is um, keep them selected, go to light effects, and then go down here to matter relief. Let's see how that even gives it a little bit more of a stone effect there. And sometimes I like to double do it. Oops. Okay. Just put it a little bit there. Okay. He looks pretty much like rock to me. So now, and then again, if you didn't like the color of this exactly, you can go ahead and change it with the um, hue and saturation. But the way I kind of give it some depth is I unselect it, and I duplicate that layer. The bottom layer I turn all the way dark. Adjustments, hue and saturation, brightness all the way down. And then we're going to take it and we're going to move it just a bit. Kind of, yeah, so the tail looks like it's all one piece. Maybe we'll kind of give it some upswing too. Or maybe we'll move it. It's all kind of a matter of what you think, but I think that looks a bit better. Right about, right about, oh, it's too, not quite. Okay, let's leave it there. And we'll go ahead and merge it down. And we're going to 
glass. Just look at the pixels again. And uh, hit it with um, the matte relief again. Just so we can get kind of a little lightness on that black part too. See if I move this kind of up there, see how we get some lightness on there. So it looks like some white's falling on it. Not quite that much, but right about there will do. And I think we'll hit it one more time. If I can remember what I'm doing. And I'm going to shine some light over here on this rope. Okay. And for fun, let's go ahead and deselect. We'll go ahead and duplicate the layer. And this is one where if you wanted to, you could take that bottom layer and thicken it some more. But really what I want to do, I think we'll leave this guy kind of the leader. I want to make this the this the little baby. So new tool, free transform, let's shrink him up. That's that. Kind of like a little clam there. So, and then you'll notice that I keep doing this one background where I take this and turn it black. And, uh, and you can see how an outer granite look really stands out. But, um, texture bump map. Okay. And then this is this is just my standard thing. You can do whatever you want. I turn the go to hue and saturation, colorize. I like that earth tone. Lighten it up some. And really kind of hit it with some saturation there. Lighten up a little bit more so it really looks like the sun coming in. And then it doesn't hurt to blur it. So I go Gaussian blur. And just kind of move it up some so it's a little bit smoother. Then we merge our two elephants together, and let's hit it with 3D effects and reflection. And let's move it down. Looks like they're really walking on the water or by the water. Okay, I should move that so you can see. And then zoom it in. And there you have it. And one thing, I'll leave this open for a remix, but um, and I'll even I even throw in this cloud layer here. So I know that some of you wonder where I get these, and I actually make them. So um, there's a cloud layer for you, and I like to change the opacity. Yeah, it's down a little bit, so it's sort of more special. And then what I like to do is make sure that the background layer is sort of, I want it to really kind of stand out. And bump up the saturation, and that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So, um, and I'll leave, I'll, I'll put this up and uh, be open for remix. So remember underneath the main layer, you'll have um, um, another cloud layer and the elephant um, cut out to play with too. But you can do whatever you want. This is just how I do it. And you can also make metals and all sorts of stuff. But anyway, um, this fun to play with. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.